Good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck. It's uh, Wednesday the 10th, and uh, we're on a road trip. Got Kevin driving, and got Wayne over there in the back seat. And uh, we're going up to Heber. We're going to meet for kind of an early lunch with a guy out of Sholo that uh, had an encounter up there, and he's interested in learning more about our Sasquatch friends. And so we're going to meet halfway. We're going to meet at a restaurant in Heber. So I'll be telling you a little bit more about that as the day goes on. So uh, this is just the first part. All right, we're going down the rim road now, and we're going to check one of our spots. We've already met with the guy we were going to meet with and decided not to film it. But boys and girls, if you look real close, it's snowing out here. Early May and it's snowing. Not building up on the road, it was back a ways, but it's snowing. Be back with you in a few minutes. Okay, here we are again. There's actually enough snow that the ground has got a little bit of white. Mostly it's gropple, but you can see there's a little bit of whiteness on the ground. And it's not sticking to the road. But, uh, you know, this is, this is May 10th and we're getting a little bit of snow up here. There you can see it off in the woods as we're going by. Be back in a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we swung in here on to go check one of our spots, and here it is on May 10th. And look what we're driving through. We're driving through snow. Uh, we're about uh, oh, about 7,800 feet or so here in elevation. It's not enough snow to hurt anything, but by golly, here's snow in May in Arizona. Some of you people didn't know that that could happen. I'll bring you a little bit more here in a bit. Well, folks, we figured while we are up this direction, we'd come in and check out one of our spots. And this is a spot we call Squatch Camp. Let me turn it around so I can talk to you. Had a little bit of snow. There's just a little, you can see behind me, little smidgens of snow here and there. But we wanted to check and make sure the road was open and that this is, place is usable because we're going to be coming back in here before too awful long. And this is the spot we're probably going to come. We've had a lot of activity happen here. This is the spot where I had my first actual sighting. It's been several years ago now. But we wanted to make sure this place was uh, was accessible and that the road was open. And So that we decided on the way back from our meeting today that we'd swing in here right quick like and check it out. So talk to you again here in a minute. Pan it around slowly. There's Kevin over there. Wayne's off someplace, maybe behind a bush. Oh, there's Wayne right there. Anyway, we'll be back in a little bit. Well, hello, YouTube. This is Chuck, and we're home from our big adventure. And we didn't get to film as much as we planned to do. Uh, we let me get back around where I can talk to you. We didn't get a chance to film as much as we wanted to because. Uh, First of all, the restaurant up there was kind of crowded, and we were going to film outside, but the wind was howling, and it was sleeting, and snowing, and raining, and pretty much miserable, so we shot a couple of clips on the on the way back. Uh, on, now, the restaurant where we went to eat was about, it's about 55 miles from here, so it was a bit of a drive, so it was kind of a day trip for us guys, and uh, we ended up meeting with a guy named Claude, and Claude's from Sholo, and he's retired law enforcement, and he had his first encounter back in 2004, and he's had a couple encounters since he moved here to Arizona. So uh, he's a pretty interesting guy, and I'm sure he's going to be coming out with us here sometime in the not-too-distant future. But on the way back, we took a side trip in to check out Squatch Camp to make sure that the road was open and there was no trees down across it or anything so we could get in there. And You saw the clips before on that. So basically, I uh, got home about 2.30. It was a fun day, and... Just us three guys got to go out and do guy things and meet somebody new and talk a little bit about our passion for squatching. And so that, that's about what it is. So I'll uh, go ahead and close this one out. And I'll tell you like I always do to take care of each other and love each other. And we'll be back with another one real soon. So let me get over here where I can find the button, as I always say.